Hey, how's it going guys? This is Dave 2D and this is my review of the, I don't even know the name of this product. Hey, how's it going guys? This is Dave 2D and this is my review of the Camerar SD1 slider Mark II. So this isn't my regular kind of review. I don't do camera products that often and I'm not even a camera guy, but there aren't that many reviews of this product on YouTube right now, so I thought I should do one and it's a relatively new product. So if you're watching this video, you probably know what a slider is, but in case you're one of my subs who don't, I'll just explain what it is. Really simply, it is a device that you can put your video camera on and it gives you a platform to basically slide your camera left and right to get really smooth shots. So just to clear it up right away, if you buy this from Camerar, it's going to be a red plate instead of blue. The color of my slider is blue and black instead of the red and black because I got it re-anodized. I just went to a local shop here, paid 30 bucks, got it done blue, just because I like the color blue. The slider platform itself is a milled piece of aluminum. It feels pretty solid and it doesn't really have any play when I'm wiggling it around, which is good. The black knob up here is a brake that you can use to lock the platform into position. So if you're traveling with it or something, you want to lock it into place so it doesn't slide around. Up top, there's a standard 3 8 16 stud for tripod heads and things, but it also looks like there's a quarter inch 20 stud underneath. I didn't try it, but I think you can mount your camera directly onto the plate if you need to. If you remember, this slider is called the SD-1 Mark II. There's an older version called the Mark I. The difference between the two is that the Mark II has ball bearings. I did try the Mark I at a store, and I can confidently say that the Mark II is much smoother to slide. There is a way to adjust the friction on the sliders. So the basic mechanic here is you're adjusting how tightly the platform or the block is gripping onto the rail. So there are two black screws here. They're really small, but they give you a hex key that fits. And on the bottom, there's four screws that use just a regular flathead. I only pointed out two, but you get the idea. Using these adjustment points, you can adjust the friction to be super slick or just to have a little bit of friction to help with slower sliding shots. I also discovered that I really like pushing slidey things around, so at the very least, I have a $150 slidey toy. Here's a shot I did of a paintball mask just by moving the slider slowly across the rail. If you look carefully, you can see there are moments where the sliding isn't perfect and it kind of stutters a bit. But I am pretty new with sliders, and I'm sure a seasoned user could have made this shot easily. The two legs of the slider are also milled aluminum, and they attach to the rail using two screws each. You can adjust the height of the legs by twisting the screw here in and out. It lets you raise any one leg up and down by an inch, and it also has a hex nut to lock it into place. But you do need to crank this nut down pretty tight to lock it down well. One last feature that's kind of cool is this silver knob here. You can tie any kind of string to it and use it to control the slider with a pulley. It's versatile and a lot of things can work, but the only thing I had when I did this shot was a headphone cable. So you run your string or whatever over the pulley and now you can control your slider using the string. The pulley itself also has a ball bearing inside. You can do some pretty neat shots using the slider on an angle. It looks kind of cool, but keep in mind I only have a monopod so it's kind of wobbly when I pull strings and stuff, but I did it just to show you guys how it works. I think if you're more mechanically inclined, you could probably rig up a small motor or something to wind this thing up automatically. So you basically have like an electronically controlled slider, which would be pretty cool. I think the SD-1 Mark II is a pretty good slider. For 155 bucks, I think it's got a really good value, but it's not the best slider out there. I mean, something like an iFooted Shark Slider, you're gonna get smoother shots and better shots with it, but you're gonna pay a lot more for it. So if you're just getting into video editing or video work, I think this is a good pickup for starters. And yeah, you know what? Most importantly, there are so many other sliders at this price point that are significantly worse than this one. So I don't think you can go wrong with this. Uh, but yeah, if you like my video, if you like the review, give me a thumbs up. And if you're super interested in my stuff, give me a sub because I'm constantly making videos. I hope you guys liked it. I'll see you guys next time.